Hello! In this video I will talk about the next generation of Big Monitor Fabric Analytics that has been unveiled as part of a Big Monitor Fabric release 6.0. Big Mon Analytics Engine is a key component of the product that provides pervasive visibility and historical view into your production and monitoring networks. Before we proceed, let's review Big Monitor Fabric out-of-band product. Big Mon is a next generation alternative to a traditional network packet broker, providing pervasive visibility into the production network and optimally delivering data traffic to security tools for deeper monitoring, inspection and recording of data. The solution is built on a fabric of open Ethernet switches running SwitchLite operating system and programmed by Big Mon controllers. Big Mon controller has a network-wide intelligence on packets and flows that are coming from production to Big Mon fabric via tap and span connections. To amplify that intelligence, Bigmon Analytics is deployed as a virtual machine in order to collect and analyze historical data. It can be used as a first step in troubleshooting and capacity planning of production and monitoring fabrics. It complements the important tools that connect to Bigmon out-of-band delivery ports. Bigmon Analytics brings in multiple benefits. Several predefined dashboards exist to give you insight into your production network usage as well as give you clues to any anomalies that may be potentially happening. Capacity planning dashboards help assess whether more bandwidth is needed for monitoring fabric or where the tool farm needs to be scaled out. In this demo, I will focus on the following three areas. Production network intelligence, production network anomaly insight, and capacity planning for monitoring network. Let's have a look at Bigmon Analytics robust user interface. As we log in, we are presented with several dashboards. Each dashboard shows data over a period of time, which can be defined by a quick preset, relative time period, or absolute time period. Starting off with SFLOW dashboard, we can analyze SFLOW information that is being generated by Big Mon switches and sent to analytics engine. One of the scenarios we often see is a machine inside the network either accidentally or maliciously starts sending a massive amount of traffic to outside. This can slow everyone down and bring critical business functions to a halt. How can we detect this? Here, by looking at the amount of internal versus external traffic, we can see that there is a small spike in external traffic. We can easily drill down to this time period and identify where most of this traffic is going and who is generating most of this traffic. After that, offending hosts can be isolated. Note that each of these dashboards can show information in several views such as pie chart or tabular format. Another use case that can be addressed with Bigmon Analytics is knowing who is using your network over time. Imagine I have purchased licenses to applications, but I want to know if they are being used. Here we can easily see top applications, filter on specific app and find out which hosts are using it. What if I wanted to decommission a certain unsecure operating system from my network? With DHCP Operating System view, we can see all the OS on the network that are sending DHCP requests. Now, I am not sure about this operating system and I want to see who is running it so I can contact host owners before decommissioning. Let's look at Visibility Dashboard. This gives us clues about network problems that may be an indication of a wider attack or a misconfiguration. A common scenario is a rogue DHCP server placed on the network. Here we can quickly see all the DHCP servers and number of clients that they are serving. Normally, I know which DHCP servers I have in my organization. So if 10.8.0.3 shows up that is foreign to me, I know now why more than half of my hosts can't connect to the network. Continuing on security theme, how do you know if your users are accessing bad websites? No tool is perfect in catching every bad website and Big Mon Analytics complements the tools with this network-wide information. Let's pick this website and see who is trying to access it. Finally, let's look at a dashboard that allows us to do capacity planning on the monitoring fabric. Here we can see multiple policies and aggregate bandwidth usage. When we build Bigmon out of band, we may not know how much capacity we need to provision and also how many tool instances we need. Here we can see a policy using most bandwidth and identify which tools it is affecting based on delivery ports. This will tell me if I need to do a deeper level of filtering on a policy to send less traffic or to put two delivery ports into a port channel to load share traffic so that tools can scale. We can configure alerts if we see a particular port or a set of ports using bandwidth above threshold. This concludes the demonstration. BSN Labs provide a simple way to experience big monitor and fabric analytics. For more information, please visit our website at bigswitch.com or follow us on Twitter. 
Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.